Gene editing with CRISPR allows scientists to quickly and precisely alter, delete, and rearrange the DNA of nearly any living organism. CRISPR stands for Clustered Regularly Interspaced Short Palindromic Repeats, and scientists discovered this technology while studying how bacteria fight viral infection. Here's how it works. When a virus attacks, a bacterium captures and stores a segment of the intruder's DNA sequence between these repeating sequences in its own DNA, like a virtual memory card. The bacterium copies the sequence and pairs it with a specialized DNA cutting enzyme called Cas9. When the virus invades again, the pair seeks out the matching sequence in the attacking virus's genome and cuts it at a precise location signaled by a telltale marker. The virus degrades and is prevented from reproducing. Scientists realized they could adapt this mechanism to manipulate DNA in any organism. By turning genes on and off, scientists can begin to understand gene function. Synthetic DNA sequences can also be engineered in the lab and spliced in at the site of the cut. With CRISPR technology, scientists can alter and edit any genome quickly, cheaply, and efficiently. Genome editing technology is revealing which DNA sequences are involved in diseases such as HIV AIDS. The spread of vector-borne illnesses like malaria could be reduced by introducing disease-resistant genes into wild insect populations. CRISPR could be used to develop drought-resistant or otherwise hardier crops. Mushrooms that don't brown, thanks to CRISPR, have already been approved in the U.S. Experiments with non-viable embryos show that much work will have to be done and many questions answered before CRISPR can be used to edit human genomes. This technology has almost unlimited potential to alter our world and has sparked a heated ethical debate.